Hey everybody, my name is Eli, this is RV East Coast, and today I'm here to show you how to properly use an RV toilet with absolutely no smells escaping the bathroom. So basically, I'm here today to save your marriage. <laughs> One more thing, uh, this is a really awkward topic, but someone has to do it. Um, and I have a special goal for this video. I want this video to be the first one to hit 300 likes in our YouTube channel. So would you please help me by hitting the like? And if you can, drop a comment. Just say, thank you for the tip, if you, if you find this video useful. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the things I like the most about RVing is that you spend quality time with your family. It's a very small space and that makes it a very intimate space. How romantic, right? So on the same page, the problem about RVing is that it's a very small and intimate space. And when you use the toilet, that romantic, beautiful experience you're having with your family can go literally down the toilet real, real quick if you don't know what you're doing. Oh my gosh, what happened in there? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So today's video is more for beginners, new RVers, um, believe it or not, uh, people that have been RVing for a while and don't know how to use an RV toilet. And what the hell is that smell? I could have been at a barbecue! So I'm gonna give you the fast version of this method. When you need to use your RV toilet, what you do is you fill the toilet bowl with water, you turn the fan on, on high, you do your business, and here's the part that you have to do a little bit synchronized. You have to turn off the fan, you have to drain the toilet, and quickly turn the fan back on. If you do it this way, you are gonna have absolutely no smells leaving the bathroom into the living room or any area that is outside your bathroom when you use your RV toilet. Now, let me explain in detail and give you a little bit more information why this sophisticated method works. You have to push the pedal in your toilet halfway through so you can fill up the, the toilet bowl. Um, and this is key because when you finish doing your thing, you want everything to drain faster. And if you have water in the toilet bowl, that transaction is gonna happen much faster. <laughs> uh, the fan in your bathroom is actually a really wonderful and useful tool if you know how to use it. So if you take a look at the door in the bathroom of your RV, you're gonna see that there is a gap in the top of the door and another gap in the bottom of the door. Those gaps are there for a reason. When you turn the bathroom fan on, you are creating a current of air that is moving from the outside of the bathroom, probably in most cases the dinette and the living room area the air is gonna go into the bathroom and then it's gonna escape through that fan in the ceiling of your bathroom. And here's the extra step that we take. We use a product called Puppery. This is not an endorsed video, but this thing really, really works. When you fill up your tank, you do a couple sprays of Puppery in the, in the water. And what it's gonna do is gonna create a little layer. And when the solids drop in the water, that little layer is gonna prevent the smells from going back up and one battle can last you through the entire RV season, maybe more. We are actually using ours for the second year and yeah, it's quite inexpensive considering how long it's gonna last. Once the business is done, here's the very critical part because it takes a little bit of coordination you turn your fan off, you drain the toilet, and quickly turn the fan back on. Allow me to explain why this part is important. You need to turn the fan off before you drain the toilet because when the fan is on, it's pulling air from the outside of the bathroom into the bathroom to escape 
through the ceiling so if you drain the toilet with the fan on it's gonna pull air from the black tank into your bathroom and of course that is not going to be an enjoyable experience so after you drain the toilet you quickly turn the fan back on and then you'll have absolutely no problems and that my friends is how you save your marriage uh, there's not gonna be any nasty uh, arguments about the nasty smells coming out of the bathroom and that's how it's done I also wanted to do this video because sometimes we have uh, friends and family coming to uh, vacation with us in the RV and it's a little awkward to show especially a grown-up how to use a toilet but most people don't know that using a toilet in an RV is very different than using a toilet at home so maybe if you're having friends coming over to vacation with you or to visit your RV you can share this video before they visit or before they use the bathroom and they know how it's done well that was my tip of the day Thank you so much for watching. My name is Eli, this is RVS Coast, and I'll see you in the next one.